Well, hi there. Over the last few weeks, I have encountered some huge problems with the understanding of what makes an atheist tick. So I have decided to make a mini-series on definitions. Because I came across so many misconceptions surrounding the word atheism itself, let me start here and see if I can provide some practical input without necessarily delving into etymology and philosophy. To me, if a person believes there is sufficient evidence for the existence of a supernatural being which resides somewhere outside our universe, has stupendous powers, monitors, judges, cares for and manipulates life and is thus termed God, this person is called a theist. If the God just push-started everything but does not monitor or interfere with anything on a 24-7 basis today, the person believing this is a deist. A theist can be a person who believes one God or several gods exist. A theist can be someone who believes in any of the 200 active gods around today. A theist can be, for example, a Christian who feels comfortable with any of the 30,000 plus flavors of Christianity or with any of the many Islamic religion flavors, and so on. They see that there is a reason to believe a supernatural entity reminiscent of an imaginary invisible friend exists and even build their lives around this. An atheist does not. An atheist has not been provided with evidence for the existence of any of the gods. That's all. It is a reaction to claims made by theists. Even though most scientists are atheists, most atheists are not scientists. Atheism has nothing whatsoever to do with science. Science, regardless of its branch, does not care about religions. It is merely a mechanism to research, test, probe and describe reality around us. Reality, not wishful thinking. Science constantly changes by specifying any feature with increasing accuracy. Because scientists are humans, there are dishonest scientists. The scientific process of re-examining and re-testing usually does find out when this happens and the scientific method is permanently refined to avoid such blunders. Atheists don't have any instruments or measuring equipment available to verify any god. There is only the brain. Depending on the level of skepticism within a particular brain, you have different levels of atheists. I agree with the Dawkins or whoever coined the levels of atheists. A weak atheist who might want a comfy God and keep the memories and the brain intact after death. A medium atheist where no evidence for a God and reality precludes the parameters of a God. And then you have the strong atheist who is convinced there is no God and does not want or need one. What they have in common is that they all see no evidence for the existence for any God. Even if they sometimes say, I don't believe in God or God doesn't exist. Atheists just don't require the comfort of a God that has all the traits of an imaginary friend to get them through the day. Personally, I can't accept that a God would use only one region, one language and a book of all things to convey any kind of message or rules and after humans have existed for 150,000 odd years. It is also totally unacceptable that this book, depending on target audience, varies over time, has different rules and contents, is imperfect and requires any kind of interpretation by fallible humans. I am consciously ignoring agnosticism as I maintain that you either have evidence for the existence of a god or you don't. We're talking about belief not knowledge. And here are some thoughts on the common misconceptions I frequently come across. Atheists reject God. Hang on, you can't reject something that does not exist. Atheists are angry with God. Same, you can't be angry with something that does not exist. Atheists believe in evolution. You can't believe in a fact. You accept it or not. Or do theists believe in cars? Atheists believe we come from monkeys. Totally wrong. In fact, so wrong that I will address this in a separate video. Atheists can't explain where everything comes from. Well, 
true. While humanity is slowly learning, we still have areas where we can only say, I don't know. There is no good reason to substitute I don't know with God did it. If you assert that a God created everything, you can't use something which has not been proven to exist before using it as a source for anything. Atheists have no purpose in life. Wrong. An atheist's purpose just does not revolve or depend on a God. An atheist helps shape society, which develops moral standards, and strives to provide a better life for offspring. An atheist has the same help gene as everybody else. Atheists don't provide charitable support like theists. Well, this is also very wrong. There are endless examples of secular organizations providing help to the needy. There is nothing of any moral value that a theist can perform that an atheist can't. Atheists don't have absolute moral values. Now, true, because absolute moral values don't exist. Morality varies with the development of society. Atheists just want to sin. Well, every human has personal preferences, just like anyone else. If the threat of hell and an angry God is what keeps a theist on a virtuous track, it is a weakness and not a strength. Also, sin has no absolute or universal definition and is just an invention of religion. Whether or not I like shrimps or pork should not influence my level of being considered good or bad. The same way as in 2011, sexual preferences of any kind should be the result of informed and consenting adults and not the standards of desert nomads more than a thousand years ago. Hitler was an atheist. Well, even if Hitler would have been an atheist, this falls into the category of several fallacies, which I will cover in a separate video. Atheists don't know where the soul goes after death. Well, until someone proves one and demonstrates what the soul is, I don't see any need for the existence of one. I make do with my personality, governed by genes. Atheists don't know who started everything. True, but why do theists automatically ask who? Why not what? But this would still be true as atheists are capable of accepting I don't know as a perfectly valid answer. Atheists are getting increasingly militant. Yes, if you believe that writing a book is more militant than blowing up or shooting others, true. Atheists can't prove God does not exist. Also true, what would you do if I asked you to prove that vampires don't exist? Can you prove I don't ride a unicorn to work? Atheists will not accept a God regardless of the evidence. Hmm. While I don't speak for all atheists, I think I can safely say that if a god would actually manifest itself here on earth, atheists would not deny the physical existence. Whether any would submit, prostrate or worship this god is a totally different question. Lastly, a question I have. Does a theist love their children more than an atheist? Well, I hope I've helped just a little bit and thank you for your time.